What is up, everyone? Welcome. This is your ticket to reality. It's perfect match season. We're diving into the Netflix's newest reality TV show that just came to a close. My name is TJ Zwarich, editor-in-chief of agentsoffandom.com, joined as always by my fellow agents, Ryan and Emma, and of course, season two finalist of The Circle Netflix, Lee Swift. And spoilers for the season five of Netflix of uh, the Circle of Netflix, but we have one of the most amazing guests we've ever had, champ of season five Circle Netflix, looking absolutely beautiful today. So make sure you're catching us on YouTube. Sam Carmona, how you doing? I'm good. I'm so glad to be back. You know, I love you guys. Like I'm excited to like blab all of my frustrations. What better place? To do it? What better place to do it than with you guys? Absolutely. <laughs> This show has been entertaining, it's been chaotic, but it's left us all with strong feelings. And I think this is hilarious because for the very first time ever, Lee's the least caught up out of all of us. That's We've covered funny. so many shows and Lee takes his time to like, all right, this is what you guys missed. This is what you guys missed in Big Brother, in uh, The Ultimatum, in The Mole. And now finally we get to, to do that with him and i'm honestly excited about it i'm excited to fill him in on some of the chaos that happened but sam what did you think of this show and who i uh, just like off the bat were like you're this is my crew i'm cheering for them and my fuck these people they're crazy <laughs> okay so circle bias i'm gonna root for anybody from the circle anybody i'm gonna be like yes i don't care what they're doing if they do wrong that's it i love you yes we make mistakes that's my sister, that's my brother. don't talk to them like that <laughs> Um, because I didn't watch like The Mole and Love Island and the other shows, I don't really, like these are my first time seeing these characters. Love is Blind is my guilty pleasure. So I had kind of opinions about some of those castmates already coming into it. The perfect match was a melody of frustration, confusion, and a pinch of pleasure for me. That's a perfect way to describe it. <laughs> perfect description, Ryan. perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, yeah, honestly, go. Ryan, I want to throw this to you first because we've talked about the first four episodes already. They introduced everybody. We had some of our favorites mixed with some of our not favorites. And then things went wild. I said this last week, episode seven was one of my favorite reality TV episodes because episode seven was Chloe and Mitch hanging out, getting back together so much love in that episode, so much silliness. And then finally the episode ends and Mitch is like, yeah, I'm just I'm just not really looking for a relationship right now. And we're all like, why the fuck are you here, man? <laughs> but even so, Mitch was not even close to one of the people that we were like, oh God, they're the worst. Talk to me about episodes kind of five through finale and what stuff stood out to you. Oof, oh man. Just some highlights, you know, nothing yeah. crazy. Well, let's, you know, to use one of the contestants' name, um, this whole show was like a carousel of just people <laughs> jumping from one partner to the other. You know, you know, we have we have you have some of our OG couples that you know lasted the season, but my God, like from you know, you think you're secure from episode four and or maybe five, but like throughout these last batch of episodes you just see everyone switch and it's hard to kind of root for any of these new pairings because you know as we're going to talk about the format of the show is just so weird with you know the way it just easily knocks out people after one night or how they bring back people who you know who who didn't match with people before and it's just very confusing <laughs> with um with the kind of pairings that these people are trying to put together, I think... The pool's too small at this point. Yeah. Like, the pool is too small. Of When you, you get Love Island, you're picking people from everywhere. So, let's start things off with format. Because you bring up such a great point, uh, Ryan. And, and I think this could be a very enjoyable episode, even for people who haven't watched the show. Just because it was wild. Um, and so we're going to talk about some wild stuff, but let's talk about the format. And then I'm going to throw it to Sam followed by Emma to kind of give me your qualms with this format, because we got all the sexy singles from season, the past seasons of, uh, Netflix shows, right. Um, 
very hetero until the end, you know, until the end, it swaps a little bit. Once again, a Netflix show is trying to steal our ideas uh, uh, because they, uh, they were talking about how they need to make a queer version of this. But anyways, you pair up. If you're not paired up, you leave the house, but you don't actually leave the house. I think you just go to the neighbor's house and you get to come back a bunch of times. Sam, take it away because I know you have thoughts. For you to, because I have to, I have to say something. For you to say very hetero, and then toward the end, as someone who was down with the coochie crew, sir, that was not. That was like the kids bop of Vice. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Like there was like, a, <laughs> just a, no, absolutely not. There's there's gay comic book characters now. I expect more from that. Like you're absolutely I feel, right. <laughs> I feel like with the amount of amazingly openly out gay former castmates, there could have been a better melody of it. Granted, it's the first season. It's a lot of trial and error. They'll see how it works. I'm all for it, but I'm so sorry. Two drunk chicks in a pool making out to me. That's giving frat party. That's to me, that's not like, oh yeah, go girls. I can't do it for the lesbians. I love it. No. Absolutely. So they attempted, Carousel and Joey, I guess specifically, attempted to get it going when they brought in a, a, a female Abby. match for Francesca. Abby, exactly. Thank you. And I mean, that was, I mean, kudos to those two. Francesca is just not going to last with somebody very long anyways, I don't think. But shout out Abby, because Abby had some of the most hilarious moments in the finale. Abby calling out all of the different people on their shit in that finale. That was just hilarious. Abby... Mm, she's like, I want to say number two on my favorite girlies. Like, Abby came out of nowhere and she was like, you're going to look like such a dick. And I'm like, yes! <laughs> I get what you and then when she said the, um, she was like, I'm fragile. It's like she said it in a way like, bitch, I'm off, but I'm hard. I don't know. It's just the undertone of that, Abby, ooh, I liked Abby a lot. For me, it's more of a Everything did happen really rapidly, which fresh. If, I'm so sorry. If you cough one more time while I'm talking to my friend, <laughs> is that your mom? No, it's not. It was couch snoring, and the other one is here. <laughs> it's not time to be asthmatic. <laughs> it's not the time to be asthmatic. Stop it right now. <laughs> you need right here. Hold on, if you don't get here. better at breathing right now, I swear. <laughs> You better be oh, cured. Yeah, I want you to her out. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving it in. We're leaving it in for sure. Oh, there's no yeah. chance that's coming out. That's top yeah, tier that. content. Yeah. Um, I think, hey, I think one of the best ways we can break down this episode is I'm always going to start with Sam, but then I'll get Emma and Ryan's take and Lee just chime in whenever the heck you want, my friend, because we're going to fill you in on some wild stuff. And then we also need your help getting details of some stuff yes. for us yes. uh once mm -hmm. once you find this out um but I, like let's start off easy the first big spoiler of the show let's start off with the winners the unexpected winners dom who do you think was gonna win yeah uh, i think francesca's gonna win am i wrong <laughs> oh so wrong with so, who? So wrong. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, thing, like, great question. Cool. Yeah, I, it didn't matter. She's evil, and she was going to win. That's, that's what I'm saying. She's going to win herself. Yeah, she's going to she's going to partner up with herself because she's a exactly. narcissist. You know, who's going to tell him? Who's going to tell him? <laughs> hey, the, actually, that's a perfect place to start. Sam, what do you think yeah. about it as a couple and individually, Francesca and Damien? <sighs> So Francesca and Damien to me didn't fit. There was something about that that did not fit. I felt like Francesca's like a praying man, man eater. Like she doesn't, I don't think that she really connected emotionally with anyone. Again, I'm judging her based off of what was on my television. She's probably a sweet girl. I'm judging you off of what you showed me on television. Damien to me came off a little pinch douchey, just a little pinch. It's like, he, when he had her, he had this like macho like thing, and then when she dissed him, it was like he was meow, meow, meow. like it just like mm. that. That to me, that would have never lasted long term. I'm sorry, he has a great ass, but <laughs> that, that that would never worked at all. Francesca as a person, I just feel like she went on the show for all the wrong reasons. 
you can look at people who genuinely went there to make connections. She wasn't one of them. Okay, so you don't like her a pinch. I like her a little less than that because she went after my girl Savannah, who I adore. So let me tell you, Savannah ate her up. I think Savannah ate her. I love the fact that in general, Savannah's not easily intimidated. And in that moment, she was unfazed and she even went and sat next to her. Like Savannah sat girl. Mind you. Lee's met Savannah. I'm, I don't know if TJ, if anyone else. Have, Savannah is smaller than me. She's like the tiniest little, like, mm, mm. Good for her. I was, I was watching it, and, and I hate confrontation, and so I was like, ooh, ooh, I know, ooh. I was like, I wouldn't But then, not. but then, <laughs> I, like, she ate it up in the finale. When she comes yeah. back, oh, I that's when I, I, I thought. I I that's can't. right, right? When she comes back in the finale, because they all come back, that's when I thought Savannah was on her shit. She was just like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna poke the bear, but without without poking too hard. Without poking too hard. I'm gonna just be me and I'm gonna poke. And it was hilarious. What I could appreciate about Savannah is that she can get her point across. She can literally let you know this is what I'll tolerate, this is what I'll not, this is where I stand without being a bitch about it. Like she's gonna be assertive, she's gonna be firm, and it's not gonna come off as she's being catty, she's being petty. No, she said what she said and that's it laminated it's not going anywhere 100 yeah so the one i damien kind of gave me meh, bland meh vibes all time but i did love he, he had a moment in episode seven and i just kind of always talk about how much i love episode seven but i think it was to shane where he or yeah to shane he was yeah. just calling him the fuck out and he was just saying like all of the right things. He was calling him out for his hypocrisy. And I was like, okay, Damien, where's this been the whole time? Because I want more of this guy. This was awesome. Emma, mm -hmm. what do you think about yeah. Francesca's game? I I was so confused, I think, at first, because she she was with Dom for a little while. And then it seemed like she was very like protective over Dom as soon as like Savannah just talked to her, talked to him. And she was like, that's my man. And I'm like, okay, but then like turns around and then dumps him and goes with Damien. I'm like, how how do you act protective of him and then turn around and go with somebody else? She literally like cycled through that entire house, basically. It it's, was it's like, it's almost like if a toddler has a toy and they say they're playing a toy, and all of their toys could be spread out. Yep. But the minute somebody grabs a toy, a toy that they weren't even looking at, like, nope, that's mine too. That's the impression that Francesca this is mine. This is mine. You can't touch it. You can't have it. I don't care. Yep. I'm not playing. A hundred percent. That's Big exactly time. how it was. Big and it was time. interesting because when I, I did watch her season of Too Hot to Handle and it was kind of reminiscent of, I mean, she's a absolutely beautiful, of course. Um, but everyone like wanted her. It was like everybody was going for Francesca. And so like it, it just continued to be a theme for the rest of the season where it was just like every time someone new came, they were like, ooh. Francesca, I'm like, all right, like there's other people there. So. In, her, in, in her defense, I have that same problem and it is <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'm sure it's really hard. I, yeah. Please the, please the OG baddie. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I want to quick since we're talking about Francesca, I want to say Twitter chewed me apart for saying that I doodled in a bathtub, but no one blinked an eye when she said she took a, a chick's tampon out with her. Yeah. Tampon. Yeah, yeah, come on now. Exactly. Facts. Facts. Am I not entitled to pretty girl privilege? I can't say. Am I not on that level? You, I think you are. So I, that's, I think it's are. ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, there are people who, if you set up an OnlyFans for that, there are people who would put up a lot, a lot of money. <laughs> get all the scary pit. They could get all of that. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Let's bring it back more wholesome. <laughs> and there's nothing like more wholesome <laughs> than our champs. Our champs. I want to see Lee's face. Okay. Dom and Georgia. Oh, I'm so happy. I didn't. I'm happy. I'm sorry. No, no for real? I'm happy. I love Dom. I okay. love Dom. Okay. I love, I love Dom. I love Georgia. Dom, our little Canadian king who needs to be I, protected at all costs. I love him, but the jokes on Twitter were so hilarious. Like, so Ava and I are watching episode, episode four, when he's obviously getting quite emotional, and we're just like, what a guy, man. He's so sweet. And then all of the people from, and I'm like, so Ryan and I are can Canadian. We get this. And Ryan, this joke might even hit harder for you. 
but all the people were just like, man, Dom's showing his Toronto real bad right now. <laughs> like, wow. this, this is clearly a man that grew up in the same city as Drake. Like, this is this man's in his Drake feelings right now. And the amount of Toronto flack I was seeing for him was so funny. That's funny. You know what? That that's true. You know what? Like he he fell hard for Francesca. He he already admitted that he loved her in like episode four. So it's like, yeah, I you know I get. <laughs> you know he wears his heart on his sleeve, and you know good for him. He clearly <laughs> came here for the right reasons. But yeah, like, uh, I think one of the other things that people were criticizing him for was uh, making fun of. I think it was Shane for showing too much emotion as well. And I was like, you were crying. Don't let me, puppy. Yeah. How fucking dare you? Yeah. How dare you? Go ahead, continue. I'm so sorry. Go. Oh, yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> like, it's 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 just that. Like, you can't... Like, Shane... I mean, okay. We're, you know, we're, we're going to talk about Shane later. But, again, Shane, you know, Shane was feeling emotional. You know, let the guy feel his emotions. He clearly mm-hmm. cares about Chloe. They're, that was such a surprising connection to me. Um, I hate it so much. I did not like it. Yeah. So, with Dom, I did, like I tweeted about him crying. I'm like, yo, he was crying. Real life, too. how dare you? And somebody's like, oh, don't take it too hard on him. That's like me. As loud and aggressive as mm-hmm. saying Xanthi from my season needs to tone it down a notch. Yeah. <laughs> he was a bit loud. Are you kidding? How dare you say that he was mopey when you could lick his ears? You were crying. So- you know, I, I really, I, I, hearing all this, I don't respect men who cry on national TV, you know? I never cried yeah, on I, my yeah. episodes. <laughs> um, did you not cry when Bryant left, like, episode one? <laughs> like, Brian, you're ready. I cried. I cried. Okay. Yeah. In, in, in our defense, circle tears are very different. It's yeah. very, very different. That's right. They're real. Well, I, I sit there and cry at every one of those family messages from mm. home. Like I know I would be an absolute mm. mess oh on God, national yes, TV. Every time. It gets me every time. I'm, it's it's bad. So it's a good thing like I don't have a camera on me when I'm watching <laughs> them because. Whew. Mm-hmm. And like Sam, we got to talk to you before the family interviews aired. Mm-hmm. So when we got to like meet you, uh, um, meet your family behind the scenes, and then I heard your mom say something like, did you just compare me to a dog? Uh, after you said, like, said something to her and I laughed so hard. It was hilarious. And then when I got to see them on the screen, oh my gosh, I was bawling. I was a mess. Yeah. That's my homie. Yeah. That's my homie. My sister. My mom's like my sister, my homie. That's my mm-hmm. baby. I love, that. I love it so much. <laughs> I also cried watching the finale of Perfect Match, and it was for a very specific reason that I did not see coming. It blew me away. I'm fragile. I'm emotional. You didn't see it coming? I didn't know this was going to happen. I did. I kind of thought it was going to happen. I really did. 98 de- degrees saying? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, in the finale, Joey proposed. What? <laughs> Carousel. Mm-hmm. Joey yes. proposed to Carousel in episode 12, and she said yes. They FaceTime with the parents, everything. What? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh yeah. Joey, I'm... S- you could tell he was... Jo- I don't know. Are they still engaged? I, I hope I so. I hope so. That's because- what I don't know, because <laughs> yeah. obviously he hasn't been allowed to talk about it. Yeah. Lee, you better yeah. text him. He might be able to talk I about it. I can text him, you're right. Yeah. You know this. That's <laughs> what I was going to say. We'll need you to do some digging, too, because I had to word my tweet very carefully today. I was about to send him a message and, like, post a tweet and be like, whoa, congratulations. And then I remember, like, this is probably a long time since this has happened. Yeah. Everybody's really swept up in emotion on the show. Who knows if this is still a thing? So I just changed it to... Oh God! I can't believe that happened in my tweet. <laughs> yeah, my phone. Yeah, I I like, rushed in here to get on this, and my phone's in the car, so I can't. Oh. Take it. But the thing is about Joey. The first first time I met him, that was something he told me. He he said I am still hung up on this girl, and he just could not open up. So if if that really happened, I am so happy for him because uh, he's a sweet. He is such a sweet guy. He really is a sweet guy. So. I just feel like they work. Honestly, they work. Their personality, they act like a married couple already. Like, 
that was something that I was like, all right, that just, that makes sense. Every episode, you want to match? Yep, that makes sense. Go, go yeah. upstairs. Uh, yeah, they, they very much, like, complimented each other. Like, the, the entire time I was watching, I was like, they're pretty much the same person. Like, they, they just have the same big personality and, and play off of each other. I love it. And they were getting busy at, at night. <laughs> come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. There was so, one of my favorite just like running bits of the show is there were so many times that Carousel would just say something like freaking bonkers. Like <laughs> just wild. Like the leaps that she would take and she was just saying some crazy shit. And my favorite thing of the whole thing was just Joey being like, you're crazy. And I fucking love it. So I'm crazy too. Like, yeah. like his favorite parts are the craziness. And I love worth. that. They're perfect. Yeah. They, they really are. Worth a perfect match. True. I, I, I think, well, Lee, not to continue to spoil it for you, but the final decision was off by like one vote, they said, right? Oh, really? Yeah. Really? So Dominic won by one vote over Joey and Carousel, which to me, Joey and Carousel could have got that. Well, I think they should have won, especially with a proposal. My goodness, that's crazy. Aren't you also happy, though, Sam, that you won the show that you did? Because I thought it was so peculiar, speaking of the format of this show, that they never really bring up the first prize. Um, yeah. And then so finally Dom oh, yeah. and Georgia take the surprise win over uh, over uh, um, Carousel and Joey. And he's I like, was... here's an all expenses paid one week trip. Yeah, yeah. Where did I, that come from? Time, right, the whole time I was like, "What even is the?" Pro I, I was like sitting there, like, "Did they tell us, or did I like miss it?" Dad, for like a month. That's a expense trip, right yeah. there. Within a Where are you gonna send them? I'd be like, I'm trying to go home. Like, I'm not trying to go somewhere else. Like, I'm trying to get in my own bed. Yeah, I have plans. They're probably. I need to get to my apartment. Yeah. Exactly. The problem they're going to have is casting people in future because they're going to go, I'm going there for a trip for season yeah, two. Yeah, I'm going to apply for the circle so I can get 100 pay. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, at least at least pay for a, a wedding or a ring or something, know, you know. Anyway, I, I love the show. I can't wait. You guys are getting me so excited about future episodes, even though you spoiled it for me. But I'm very, very happy. For my man Joey, I love it. No, Joey, I was so I cried. I was saying, oh, like, oh yeah, me too. <laughs> I did. No, I didn't see that one coming. I didn't see a lot of the matches coming. Um, that kind of pop yeah. up out of nowhere. But that was some of the chaos when they bring everybody back in. They bring everybody who's ever been there back in. Some of the people were only in the house for like a day. Um, mm -hmm. so that sucks. They must have just been hanging out in some back room, and then all of a sudden they show up at the end. <laughs> Did you notice TJ, Brian, Emma, because I'm Lee, you didn't see it, but did you notice that that last night when Nick is like, everybody's coming back, Ines didn't come? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, he that's wasn't true. I thought Ines was, was there. She did she not there. go back. She was there for the very for end the when finale. they made for the yeah, finale. The Whatever yeah. was saying, that last who I thought I remember finale. seeing her walk in looking all good. She had the high pony. Wasn't that the last episode? I think it was. Hmm. Maybe she didn't. I, I, I could be remember. wrong. I could be totally <laughs> wrong. But Sam, I know that you were so proud of how Inez handled some things. And I watched her on The Circle Friends. Ava and I loved her on The Circle Friends as well. So she got some shitty taste in some of the people she was choosing. <laughs> I'll say. But I know you were proud of her in the end. On behalf of a woman who's had shitty taste in the past, like, boy, I didn't, I didn't, oh, oh. I, Sometimes you you there's a little thing in you that says no this one's different I oh, know this one is a little bit da, da, da. I'm just gonna she could do no wrong she could talk just tell her to read me books in her accent she's perfection in my eyes amen the literally. Way she literally took Bartice's ego <laughs> seasoned it and handed it back to him perfection fucking perfection if I ever meet her it's not love it absolutely yeah. now that's a match I would like you and Inez that would be a perfect match. I mean, in all honesty, we don't even have to do the hibbity dibbity. You could keep your hoo ha to yourself. <laughs> Let's just throw these other people out of here. I know some of those rooms had two beds. You go on your bed, I'll be on my bed. You just stay over there. We could just do each other's makeup and be pretty. Okay. I don't want to be your girlfriend. I just want to be your friend. Yeah, I love it. Love it. <laughs> she's at, she's legitimately somebody that that I, I've had a little crutch on since uh, mm -hmm. I watched The Circle France because. My goodness, she is just so wonderful inside and out. She is, she's incredible. 
we talked about most of the heroes of the season. <laughs> There's one left I want to touch on, and it's a perfect transition right into the villains. I mean, we've already touched on Francesca. She's on the villain side of the show. But <laughs> you think? <laughs> I will say it makes me very happy that I've since seen an Instagram photo of Mitch and Chloe hanging out once again. Oh. And that makes me happy. Maybe they're just friends. But that makes me happy because that probably means <laughs> Chloe and Shane aren't together anymore. Because that's the other digging we need. And I mean, look, we've we've talked to Joey and we've talked to Chloe. Now that this show is done, we're hopefully going to be booking them on the show in the near future here. But my God, I hope Chloe is not with Shane anymore. Sam, take it away. Because we love Chloe. She is just such a kind-hearted, silly bean. But talk to me about Shane. I haven't met Chloe personally yet, but again, I'm biased for my circle fam. And honestly, I did enjoy her on her season. I think she's a gem. Energetic, you know, opinionated. She's going to say whatever she wants. Very, she reminds me of me in that aspect. Shane, what did I call Shane when I texted you earlier? I said Shane is like Gary. They're all in voice oh, chat, so I don't know. Gary Busey on Gary Busey on speed. It's just so he's sit still he's always moving like even in intimate moments but like, first, I want to show you, like, like, like sit still. what is why are you grinding your teeth like what is does he have babies like what is happening that's why i'm always 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 team Dom's type of emotional as opposed yeah. to team uh, uh, Shane type of emotional. Because, like, Dom, when he's down, that's like me. I'm just going to go home and cry in my room. You exactly. know, like, I'm going to go be sad by myself, not going to hurt anybody. Shane looks like he's going to commit murder anytime yeah. somebody no, says Shane. something like Literally. that would upset a 12 year old. Like, not that would upset an adult, but would upset a 12 year old. Yep. He's got so, crazy eyes. I mean, to me, he's it's, got I, crazy. I, every, he has crazy <laughs> hair follicles. <laughs> He's this rocker. He literally that face is gonna haunt me in my <laughs> Those no, who are not watching this on YouTube, <laughs> we appreciate those who are subscribing to the Ticket to Reality podcast wherever you get your podcast. But those who are not watching this episode episode specifically on the Agents of Fandom YouTube page are are missing out because we're we're being silly with our cameras. We're we're having some fun. <laughs> And Which, you and I, we watched, I've only watched one, one season of Love is Blind, but it was where it was where <laughs> Shane was there. We knew he was crazy. And you knew, I think, even more than me. You knew you had some bad vibes. Yeah. I, I saw this coming a mile away. Like, I, when he got there, I, so I absolutely love Chloe. Like, we just talked about that. She is, like, she was one person. I watched her on Too Hot to Handle. And I, I liked her after that. And then I saw her in the circle and I was like, this is actually such an amazing person. Um, and I watched like one of her TikTok lives the other night. She's just authentic and adorable. And I love her. And then Shane walks in and she's like, oh, I want a mattress. I was like, no, I, I, I literally wanted no! to jump on my TV and be like, stop. <laughs> like the audience, I was like, well, I don't know if she watched Love is Blind, but I, knowing what I saw on that season, I was like, no, stop. So like he at first I was like okay I mean they're they're getting along like sure but I was just waiting for the blow up to happen and then he like she comes back like she unmatches with Mitchell and then comes back or gets Shane back or whatever it is goes on a date and it like goes fairly well and then something sets him off about how she picked Mitch at that point. And oh, then God. he just completely gets triggered by this whole, the stupid thing where she fell. The pool. Or like she, <laughs> that's, the pool. I forgot. That's it. literally the reason why I love it. episode seven so much. <laughs> because she, Lee, Lee, it's Mitch so and Chloe start getting naked. Tops are off. No. They're kissing. <laughs> And they, like, Mitch grabs, like, is holding Chloe like this, like, in, like, a bear hug. And they jump into this little pool that's on their balcony. <laughs> underneath them, right underneath them, is Shane, who just got voted out to go home. <laughs> oh. And the water splashes <laughs> all over him. All over him, right after she picked Mitch instead of him. It was <laughs> fucking he hilarious. He was living. No, he, was... he stood up. Yeah. Literally, at that point, I feel like he could have bit a rock in half. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> yeah, 
It was yeah. scary. Like, I, so, you know. In true Shane fashion, Chloe goes on a date. They're on the beach. They're pet yep. monkey. Great. I miss you. I love you. Blah, blah, blah. He doesn't mention the water there. <laughs> exactly. He doesn't mention the water when they have a breakfast the next morning. No, no, no. He wants to wait until Chloe makes this beautiful fucking poem for yep. him. It's uh, Chloe tells Shane, I'm falling in, I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> and then fucking Shane now wants to bring up the water. Yep. Yeah, so random. Like I was like, like, excuse me. And then just the full toxic masculinity just comes out. And then poor Chloe is just like, I don't know. This is like a new side of his personality. I'm like, exactly. He can, he, he'll just like, something will trigger him. And he just completely goes full, like, scary. I mean, I wouldn't want to be faced with that. So she... Thankfully, is like, I'm going to go sleep in, you know, with Georgia and Dom tonight. I'm going to, like, leave that alone. But then they match again. I was just like, Ugh. like, I just want to protect Chloe because I do not like this man. Shane is probably one of the reasons why I feel like I wouldn't be very helpful in a show like this, in a scenario like Yep. Because, oh, oh, you doing this? Like, you know, there's cameras. People can see you being a, a complete <laughs> dick. Like, you're a dick on a stick. I think that's what I called him to the <laughs> I'm just saying, Sam, I would love you on a show like this. <laughs> Absolutely. I would love you. I'd be like the person with the mic that comes and does like little mini interviews in between. Like two people in the bed getting hot and heavy. And I just scoop <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I love it. I yeah. love and it. Can I tell you a secret? Like a show that I would like to be on on Netflix? Come on, girl. I want I want to see if I would do good on the mold. Oh, me too. I want to be on the mole too. Oh, come on. I would be on the mole, and I would want to be. I would want to be the mole. I would want to be one of those people. We see what happened with Shoe Bomb when they try to oh, give him the It's true. It's true. It's true. You're good at being good. Okay. I got an evil side. I do. I got to I, I got toxic masculinity somewhere in me. <laughs> Eating grapes at the supermarket before checkout is not a bad thing. <laughs> oh boy. I thought I was gonna get arrested when I did that, but okay. <laughs> You guys know firsthand if you act like a dick on TV, people would realize it. But thankfully, you're both such wonderful people that you didn't uh, have to deal with that. Someone who did is Bartice. Oh, oh, I gotta... oh. <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> Bartice makes Sam so mad she's walking away. Stretching. What do you think of this, Mad Sam? What do you think of this, man? So I did watch a season of Love is Blind and instantly I'm like, oh no, he's like a super douche. Like a hot <laughs> literally. And again, there's a big difference, and I think Lee could agree, there's a big difference between watching reality TV and then being on a reality show and watching watch. So, you know, I'm still here, like, all right, maybe he's not that dicky, you know, you know, they edit it, whatever. But then I looked at his social media afterwards. I'm like, no, he's real life. He's a full-time dick. He went to Dick University. <laughs> he got a good money. Oh damn. When I saw that be on the show i'm thankful he wasn't in the starting but the fact that he kept coming back he had more lives than a cat like why are you why do people keep thinking that he is a good addition to this izzy my girl no i was like every time someone said oh personality is everything to me i don't care how hot you look if you're a dick you're instantly ugly to me. he literally looks like quasimodo like everything <laughs> is just fucking idiot. I I'm with you, every, time, every time someone said like, "Oh, he's a good guy" or whatever, I'm like, "Are you seeing the same thing I'm seeing?" Because no, no. I want to know where do they buy the crack that they smoke? <laughs> Literally, oh, I want what they what they have yeah. because well, Shane's be smoking it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he has all of it. Fucking doing it. He is eating it like cereal. <laughs> Speaking of acting like a dick on TV, Shane. <laughs> this man thinks he knows everything. He knows nothing. It was so funny in the finale where he's like talking about people. He's like, everybody switches up in this show. I don't get how all like all of you are so hypocritical. I don't get how you can be so mad when people switch around. Like we're all doing that. And then he's talking about like everybody. Do you think Dom and uh, Georgia are, are are a perfect match? And he's like, no, it's not real. He was all over Francesca the one day, and then the next day, he liked Georgia. 
Oh, wait, you're talking about Chase. Oh, yeah, that was Chase. Chase, sorry, Chase, sorry, yes. I'm talking about Chase. I meant Chase the whole time. <laughs> oh, when the fuck? Like, when did he say that? <laughs> speaking of being a speaking of dick about being a dick on TV, I don't think Shane is an asshole. I just think Shane is a mentally unstable and needs therapy. Oh, I think Bartice is an asshole. And I think yes. I mean we look, I don't mean that in a bad way. We all need therapy. My next appointment is in well, is in a week. Um, but he needs it really. yes. Exactly. There you go. Perfect. That's we should all be going. It should be like the dentist. You go. You, we should have checkups. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, actually, I go need... to the dentist less than I go to the dentist. Oh, for sure. For sure. But I mean, that, I mean, like, in terms of people who have never gone, yeah, like, imagine sure. if you just never went to the dentist once in your life. You wouldn't do that. Imagine if you broke your arm, trauma, something happened in your brain, You broke, like, something went wrong, and you just never went to the doctor to heal it. Well, your arm would be crooked. It's no different. It's your brain. Get out of here with your silliness on the screen, Lee. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm having fun. Anyways, I meant Chase, not Shane. Chase? Yeah. Speaking, of be, speaking of being dickish. It was so it's hilarious when Abby called him out for being a hypocrite. Oof. That was if, if if Bartice is Dick Senior, Chase is Dick Junior. Literally, <laughs> like, like he's like like, like there's only that way, and I'm kind of glad that he wasn't as long as that, like as long as everyone else was, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't have tolerate him. I really wouldn't. Have. Like you don't need a woman because you clearly suck your own dick enough. Like, you don't need <laughs> you don't need anybody here. You're so into yourself. You don't need Absolutely. to be. Here. You're so perfect. Man. You're, yeah, he. Yeah. He was like he like Bartiz is like the final evolution of Dick. Like <laughs> Chase is like the next like understage. Like he in every person, time better haircut. Yeah, no, literally. I'm like what? like Bartiz needs. Uh, okay, that's a whole thing. But like, <laughs> I, I, I just I can't. I can't. <laughs> Francesca I really can't. is and Chase to me are so similar, such mm -hmm. similar of people. The difference is to me they have two totally different types of privileges right mm -hmm. because francesca has gorgeous girl privilege which in a show in a reality tv show it gets you a lot it gets you whatever you want shane because he's a dude just comes off as such an or sorry chase i always say shane i don't know why i keep mixing the two of them <laughs> up chase because he's a dude just comes off as such an aggressive misogynist and like it's just like they're the same but i feel like francesca can get away with it a little more when and when shane does it it just makes me want to throw something at the tv <laughs> yeah. it makes me question the gameplay it makes me question the gameplay because it's not like there's 100k at stake for you to play that way like the premise is to meet someone and make a connection and fall in love and you're here using strategy just to like i, I to me it's like okay did y'all hear the rules because i heard nicholas <laughs> whole other shit so what are y'all on what game is this is not physical 100 i don't know what the fuck y'all <laughs> yeah it was Speaking interesting because i feel like Will. sorry oh, yeah. i was you just, go just, out, you go quickly out. no just, i just had the thought like because like too hot it, it's like a little bit similar to too hot to handle just i i feel like too hot to handle does it like it executes it a little bit better first of all i think also just like going back to the format I think it's a really fun idea to have like all the people from like the reality shows like together in like kind of the same universe. Um, mm -hmm. Clearly though, I think the thing that makes it different than Too Hot to Handle is some people have like prior histories and everyone kind of knows each other vaguely. I think that definitely makes for like really good TV. Um, but with Too Hot to Handle, I think it works better because it's just like all these people coming in kind of for the same reason. Um, I mean, they don't really know why they're there until they get to the resort, but I, th I feel like those are... I've seen like more genuine connections made there um, for the, you know, with the exception of like Joey and Carousel and Dom and Georgia. Like, so I don't know. I just feel like Too Hot to Handle kind of executes that a little bit better, but this is very entertaining. So, oh, yeah. yeah. That's exactly it, right? It's the format of the show, the show itself. It wasn't very good. It was bad. <laughs> it was very flawed. But. Netflix had this great idea of, hey, let's put all these people that people already like or love to hate and they already know and let's put them in a hotel together and let's uh, let's keep it uncensored and do everything. That's another kind of one of my reality TV show ideas I had of just, was just like, could you imagine how much more popular something was like Love Island would be if they just like didn't bleep anything out and didn't blur out when people decide to like get naked well they did that in this show yeah. and it still wasn't porn we just got to see <laughs> damien's white butt um 
<laughs> but it for some reason it improved it for me because it felt more real. It was just mm-hmm. like, oh no, we're just ha- putting cameras on people and they're just being idiots right now. So it makes really good TV. Um, and that was the aspect of this show I thought was really good is they put humans we like or love to hate on TV in the same location mm-hmm. and just shit happened. Yeah. They knew what they were doing, putting Bartiz and, and Francesca on that <laughs> they, show. I, like, really, yeah. They, I they knew. 100% agree. Like they knew what they were doing because it's like, I, I wanted to, there were some people that I'll be 100% honest. I'm like, okay, they have no business being on this show. Like that, like Colony, uh, Diamond, yeah, uh, and 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 Sophia. Yeah, just a like, couple of like well-adjusted like these, career women, people. When you put these women who yeah. you know come with value yep. with these dudes who are here like having pissing contests, like it just didn't. I would have, I would have, or even if they would have put Calvin in in the mm-hmm. first bat, mm-hmm. I like the the. The quality of women versus the quality of men just didn't add up at all. Like, at all. I, I, lo- I love Calvin. I love Calvin. I love Calvin him. is sweet high and smooth as butter. When I met him in LA, I was like, you smell good. You, this is <laughs> this works. I was excited to see him on the show. But they, they, yeah. he, he, he was yeah. he was too sane for the show, maybe. You know? <laughs> I, slapping Shane on the lip. Like, all right, stop talking now. Stop. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, there's that group of everyone yeah. you just mentioned, Sam, 100%, I feel the same way. It was literally like yeah. they were just a little bit too mature for this group, and it was way more one-sided. It was literally, this show was a grade seven classroom. Yeah, That's literally much. what it was. Well, all wait, of wait, the wait. girls, all of the girls were more mature than all of the boys, because it was like they just were a little bit further ahead in their brain development stages. <laughs> they hit like... That's to me what it was like. There was a lot of in, like uh, immaturity and crushes flying around, people dating somebody else every second day. Um, it was a grade yeah. seven classroom. Yeah, but there were two fifth graders, Bartice and Shane. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, graders. yeah, Chase. Yeah, there was two fifth graders. So yeah, anyway. no, no, no. They they're they're in grade seven. We call those here in Canada the hockey players. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They got left back. They were supposed to be in the 10th grade. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly it. <laughs> the, they're the dudes who are really good at sports, go buck 10 in gym class. Yeah. You know, they're firing the dodgeballs right at everybody's faces. That's oh, Bartiz and Shane. That is 100%. them. They were the asshole bullies in high school and, and elementary school, and they just haven't got over it yet. Hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Listen, the, the, not even the circle, the Netflix world is so small, and there'll always be events where you bump into different cast members from different shows. I hope and pray to Jesus to Sanders if I am ever in the same vicinity as Bartiz, Jane, and as Chase. You gentlemen, if you ever see this, y'all don't gotta come and say hello to me. Hello. <laughs> Give me that. Because I stand behind it, I guarantee it. Based on a true story, ooh, tidbit. Um, Jack, uh, Jack from your season, Jack season two. Jack. When I met him in LA at the rap party, um, I watched a uh he did a podcast and he didn't speak really highly of me. Jack is extremely tall. Samantha stood on a chair so I could face him in front of everyone at the rap party. I said, oh, we got beef. He was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, because you said you didn't blah, blah, blah. We had a great exchange. We cleared the air eye to eye because I'm small. <laughs> Bart- and mind you, I have no beef with Jack. I love Jack to death. We actually went out for drinks. He's perfection. But Bartiz, Shane, I wouldn't share a cup of tap water with him. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. My mouth. <laughs> that sets up poorly that I was just about to ask for everyone. Okay, marry one, fuck one, kill one. Whoa. Shane, <laughs> Bartice, <laughs> wow. and Chase. Okay. What the fuck? Um, can I choose none? Can I kill <laughs> myself? <laughs> oh, fuck. See, my original question was, who was the biggest villain of the show? And I was going to include them with Francesca. But Francesca just holds so much power over other people in this show that she is the biggest villain in the show. It is her. And then when all of a sudden there was three of them, I can't I can't lie. That's immediately where my head went instead of who was the biggest villain. I went to marry one, <laughs> fuck one, kill one instead. Oh, That's God. So why? Because everybody wants to sleep with Francesca. She's gorgeous. Yeah. The, oh, but the other three, you really are kicking me in the sack with that. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. That pain is going to get you right up in the stomach. It's going to last a while. Marrying them doesn't mean that I have to touch them. I could have a hole of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. my logic. Who can I tolerate the most of the three? I'm going to say Chase. Okay. Oh, fuck. I got to actually give one of them my no-no spot? <laughs> yeah. I also feel like Chase is the best looking out of the three. Oh, no, he's cute. He's not yeah. part of that. See, I would yeah, flip it. I would. That's who I would take to the no-no spot would be Chase. With Chase. No, mm. no, because remember, you have to see this person forever if you're married to them. Lee, you're married. You know. You have to see your husband. <laughs> That's true. Okay, yeah. Could you imagine seeing yeah. him every day? Yeah, no, you're right. With the crazy eyes. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That's already... I would marry Shane because I think, although he's nuts... He has the most room for growth of those three. Like, I think the other two are just asses. And I think he's part ass, part crazy. You're marrying potential, TJ. We're not doing that today. We're yeah, but none of them have many redeeming qualities, Sam. <laughs> so, boom, here we go. I got my answer. It makes sense. Okay, let's go. Because I could be married to you. I could see you. You're very pretty. I'll treat you like art in my house. You're a vase. <laughs> How to touch you. Boom, we're killing Bartis. I wouldn't fuck him with a rented. <laughs> now, hear my reasoning for sleeping with Shane. Remember, we talked about him constantly fidgeting and moving around. He's like a human vibrator. <laughs> 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 so okay. He's also so self conscious. I feel like he'd be more giving than the other two. The other two would he be very self selfish lovers. Yes. He would probably be like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's all right. Just Oh, just, just. There'd have to be mirrors for Chase and Bartiz, and they wouldn't be <laughs> looking at you. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's so. only literally. That's exactly like you just. I'm just here for the whole. You don't even need me. To <laughs> and so that was gonna I be my. Had to, if I had to, and I swear, like I wish I didn't have to pick any of them. <laughs> that's exactly that was my answer. I was gonna for the exact same reasons as you. Like those would be my three as well. Because Barty, like. Absolutely not, Bartiz. Nothing. I can't. Uh, Shane, not. I'd consider just once and then never speak to him again. And Shane, then I'd marry Chase because he would just be there. Shane is the antagonist in a movie that you you hope loses, but you don't want to get killed off because you also yes. feel bad for him a little bit. You know what I, I mean? Know. It's like, oh, I just hope this guy gets the help he needs. Bartis <laughs> is the behind the scenes villain that just like you feel no remorse for whatever happens in the movie. You know what I mean? Like if he if he takes that bad bad movie death, you're just like, ha! <laughs> no, I would do. I would. I would sleep with Chase. I would kill Shane. I would marry Bartis because now here's my reasoning why I'd marry Bartis. It's because. He would he he wouldn't even know I was there. <laughs> like, he, he'd be off doing his stuff, and I'd I'd get sympathy. Oh, poor Lee, he's married to Bartiz. That's that's why I would do that. But no, but let me tell you why I disagree, Lee. Because he's so full of himself, he will sit there and say, "You're not giving him enough attention. You're not giving him. Mm. A, 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 uh, you're not being courteous yeah. to his." Things, and he's done so much. For, he'll say, "I bought this house. You have a nice car. When do you support me as a man?" And then, yeah. no, you would have to. Broke his ego constantly. Well, the good and thing Shane, is I'm Shane old just, and I will be dead soon. So he will, <laughs> he will take me to my grave. <laughs> Go ahead. Lee, you just, you Lee, just don't, give me, that, don't give me that type of attitude. Just literally minutes before this, I was finishing. I was starting the third act of Creed, of the first Creed movie in my um, rewatch before Creed 3. I know Ryan would like that, Big our big Creed guy. Yes. His Creed 3 review coming soon to agentsofphantom.com. But, like, I'm seeing Rocky Balboa being like, I, I think I'm just done. I don't want to go through that. I think I've had enough. And I'm like, no, Sylvester Stallone. Why is this the best acting performance of your career? Because he had very similar lines. Yes, yes. Yeah. You know what the best, the uh, actual good uh, fuck, Mary kill would be with Jonathan Majors and Michael B. Jordan? I'd rather oh. have that scenario. Since we're talking yeah, about Dom. Wow. That's for, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> That, that's a good list. I don't know who I'd kill. That would be really. Be but really I think that's why I wouldn't thrive in a in a, in a scenario like this because it's like none of them, like 
I could I could appreciate somebody for being handsome or, or beautiful. Like I could sit there and say, oh my God, you're gorgeous or you're this, you're that. But nothing that would make me say, oh yeah. yeah. You know, you. Uh, HR is going to get me for this, but the same game, and uh, I, th- this is for you, Sam, so you can pay attention. TJ, Ryan, and Emma. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would... <laughs> Oh I would God. I would marry Emma. I would Aww. fuck TJ, and of course I would kill him. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, yeah, you didn't even have to say it. It was already it was already known. That's probably the funniest <laughs> sentence that's ever been uttered on this podcast. Just clip that out of context. <laughs> To answer that, right? No, you don't. No, no, no. no, no. no. I would rock your world. <laughs> totally to hear. Yes. Yes. This is my favorite episode ever. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Oh, you are so fun. This is so fun. I love yes. this. Please you come on all the time. Yes. Yes, Sam. Thank you so much for joining us because. I mean, whether we were talking about the perfect match or just literally nothing, we love having you on because you are the fucking oh, best. <laughs> I have one more perfect match thought. Or right, whenever you guys need me, just let me know. <laughs> I have one more thought that I remembered. Um, so speaking of, we're talking about Francesca, one little thing that I was kind of just like going on a rabbit hole through TikTok and I was looking at her TikTok. She's been, she was dating somebody like seriously for a while and and has been apparently like like they've been like i've seen tiktoks of them together and they've been together like for a while i think there was a period that they broke up so i'm I so would she think could go on her show maybe that's why, I, I, that's why i was like when did this happen like when did the show happen so she also, tiktok i don't know if you saw the tiktok but she um it was sent to me i'll forward it to you to get it um she did a tiktok where she was like on a uh, she was doing an interview on a podcast or something and she was like yeah they told me that I didn't have to share a room with anyone. And next thing you know, night one, I'm up in a room with someone, ride for hours. She, she, on the interview, she seemed very upset. But on the show, you were complaining that Dom didn't pass at you. Mm, yeah, what yeah. is that? What one was it? I need to brew some tea. I'm just saying there's so much <laughs> yeah. being spilled here. I love it. And so somebody else was saying they saw a post that apparently, like, so Emma and I a week and a half ago, whatever it was now, we're in uh, LA and Disney. We had a group trip together and apparently Francesca and Dom were at Disney at the same time that we were. Yeah. And well, then I just saw her, another picture. Her partner. With her partner. Yeah. That's yeah, what I saw yeah. them together and, and then Dom was there. I was like, what? what is maybe what? so like, maybe it was a double date with Georgia. I don't know. Yeah. But like maybe they, I don't, I don't know. But then I also saw another Instagram of, Chloe and Mitch posting hanging out together uh, as well. So Lee and Sam, you have some of these people's numbers, or at least you know people who do. We need you to get on this so we can get the tea. I will say. Lee will get more tea than me because they know my mouth. I'm a you dumbass. He's better than me. Don't have me do it. I don't know. I th- if this episode is any indication of don't let Sam do it, let that be known. This, this episode has only been an indication of let Sam do more. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm for it. 100%. What were you going to say, Ryan? Oh, yeah. No, uh, apparently, because this, this, this show, like, this is the one show, a reality dating show, where I actually, like, actively went out of my way to see who's still together. Mm-hmm. And apparently... Um, Georgia is now dating Francesca's ex from Two Out to Handle season one, and they're oh, apparently Harry. Harry. Yeah, they're apparent. I, I, from what I heard, they're apparently they're engaged, and I'm just like, what the hell? What? When the fuck did this what? show air? <laughs> right. So according to You're Chloe, like, it filmed a year ago. Okay, it filmed like a year ago because Chloe was on TikTok Live, and that's what she was saying. So I'm like, what the fuck? I wonder if they went on that expenses ex- all expense trip because like what I know, the heck? Right? I feel like <laughs> that obviously that didn't go through Joey's head when he was like, "I'm gonna propose," <laughs> and then not be allowed to talk about my engagement for a year. For right. a year. Yeah. And I, I'm sure, like in their contract, they probably couldn't be seen out in public. Probably not. Yeah. Very it's like to ensure the the. The what is the word? Lee, what's the word? Uh, Not integrity. What is the word? To ensure the blank of the show. The newness, I don't know. The surprises. There's a word, yeah, but the embargo. 
Yeah. I don't fucking own a thesaurus. Listen. Listen, so, I signed my contract. And <laughs> I don't know what. <laughs> this operation, you were supposed to fill in the blank. But I know. I I'm old. I'm old. To ensure that the the show is still like has its surprises and wows, I'm sure it was in their contract like you can't be seen out in public together. No, and if you are, Spoilers. like no, no, not solo. So it's like, how do you keep an engagement under wraps when you're both public figures? Well, it's yeah, not a big that. deal for Joey because he's going to go to sleep anyway while she's out <laughs> doing stuff. <laughs> hey, by the way, I I want to <laughs> let y'all know this this uh, sore Stephen and I blindfolded each other and we're kissing and he had a lot of teeth. So, I just, oh. <laughs> did he chip your tooth? Did he chip your tooth, please? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> rate, rate the kids. I'm kidding. Under, I'm kidding. It's a cold sore. It's a fucking beauty hawk. Don't you dare talk about my friend Lee like that. <laughs> I was thinking that, though, when they had, like, the kissing challenge, I'm just here, like, abso- I could never. I'm sorry. I could never. Whether I'm single, in a relationship, like, I could never. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> Yeah, I would have got ones for sure. <laughs> I mean, I would have been ones all the way, you know, because I'd be, I'd be like, I'm not. Yeah, I just would have pretended all of them were Lee, and then they all would have gave me a ten. Sam, oh. thanks so much for uh, joining us today. This has been chaotic and so much fun like i think this is truly the most fun we've all had on a recording and we've been doing this yeah. for a few months now like this has just been an absolute blast so thank you so much and i and, and sam i'm very i want to apologize for ryan i'm sorry for everything he did <laughs> what the heck <laughs> I'm just out here having a good time. <laughs> you know, Lee always has his quota, and it's always right near the end that he he, he fulfills <laughs> it, true. where he just has to rag on me. It's always when TJ's about to do the outro. I'm just, and Lee's like, whoa, 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 did it, did it diss Ryan this whole time? Before we what? leave, before we leave, <laughs> fuck Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you think he's going to have some profound thought about the thing. He's like, and we're just like, yeah. okay. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for having me. We love you. So yes. much fun. I adore you guys. TJ, let me know next show we're watching so we can live tweet and laugh at each other. Like, I'm here for oh, Emma, I got to get your Twitter. Do I have yes. your Twitter? Uh, I I follow you, but I will. I, I'll tell no, you. There's no. Yeah, don't well, follow uh, Ryan. Don't follow Ryan. <laughs> she, uh, she actually did. <laughs> Too lately, so. <laughs> we will make it happen after the show. And all of you, make sure you are following the Ticket to Reality podcast. Anywhere you get your podcast, it's at Ticket to Reality on Twitter and Instagram. Anywhere else, it's the Agents of Fandom pages. So it's the Agents of Fandom YouTube page. And you can find it there on Facebook as well. You can find Sam on all the socials at BK she Devil, And... Thank you to all of our listeners and, of course, to Sam for joining us today. On behalf of myself, Ryan, and Lee, thanks so much for joining us, everyone. Peace. Oh, I meant to – I was like, should I say Sam or should I not say – I was like – I was going to say literally – So just Ryan and Lee, thank you, Sam. Emma, you were myself. Like, I kind of forgot about me and I was looking at you, Emma, and I said said myself when I was looking at you. So on behalf of – it's it's Ryan's fault he did that, by the way. Yes, <laughs> on behalf of me, Emma, Lee, but not Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, you know. everyone, so much for joining us today.